Good morning, everybody, from a humid morning out in the Coachella Valley. We're currently in Rancho Mirage. It's pretty early in the morning still. It's about 90 degrees. Um, today, I thought I'm gonna go to three spots, three spots. The first one is gonna be the uh, infamous uh, photo shoot back in, I believe it was 2005 with Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie when uh, they were in W Magazine and they shot a 60 uh, page um, article or 60 page uh, spot on them together. And the interesting thing that was when they did come out here and shoot it, that was the same day that Jennifer Aniston filed for divorce. So the first house we're gonna look at is that house that I'm standing in front of and I'll match up some of the photos uh, with where they took pictures as well. So we're on the corner of Desert Sun and Kay Ballard. So this is the house. Um, it's an E. Stuart Williams house. E. Stuart Williams is a well-known architect out here. He also did um, the Frank Sinatra house as well. This house is about, I believe it's 5,500 square feet. And over there, I don't want to go too close, but that kind of shows that it is an E. Stuart Williams house. It denotes that. Um, this house has also been used in other uh, photo shoots for Madonna, Coldplay, James Blunt, and I believe it was sold back in 2007, and that is a loud crow. Um, back in 2007, I know, it sold for about two and a half million, and they were charging, per photo shoot, they were charging about 50000 per photo shoot. So, the cool thing I'm going to show you right now is, this is, in fact, the backyard, and it's the same absolutely and so that's where brad pitt and angelina jolie would be and actually angelina's son maddox was there as well so this is the backyard and i'll line up some of the photos they use the outside and also the inside to shoot this i just came across this cactus that is a interesting looking cactus i've never seen anything like that that is really cool. So now I'm on Keenan in Cave Allard. And so this is the other side of the house. It's a huge lot. And like I said, I don't want to trespass or go too far on these people's property, but I will walk around and show you over the fence again. And here's another angle of where they were in the backyard. That's probably one of the popular shots, and I think it was the cover shot as well. I just wanted to show the front of the house too uh, for posterity. It is pretty secluded, so oh, there's my shadow. Um, it is pretty secluded, so it's limited to what you can see, but you can still find the article online with a simple Google search. But yeah, this is where it was. Bragelina, right here. Now I'll head to another spot. As you can hear the cicadas, we have now made it to 2688 South Camino Real. And this house was the former Disney house. This is where Walt Disney and his family would come in vacation. And another fun fact, we'll go walk over here. I believe this wall is new. The trees are Walt Disney-esque. And it used to be themed uh, like a Disney style. But I'm not sure if anybody's living here. I know that you could rent it out at one time. But I don't want to go in these people's backyard. I know he did sold this or sold. He did sell this house in order to finance part of Disneyland because he needed money at the time. Another fun fact, out here was one of the spots that actually Walt Disney was looking at to uh, actually have Disneyland. Which would have been a nightmare with this heat, but yeah. 2688 South Camino Real, the Walt Disney House. Back on Palm Canyon, uh, things did not go as planned. I just went over to the Alpha Dog House that uh, Justin Timberlake stayed at. And when his name was Frankie Ballenbacher in the movie that was depicted of the murder 
uh, of a young kid from the valley over drug money with Emil Hirsch and Olivia Wilde. But strangely, it's all grown up or they just put up walls and you just can't see anything. So I had to scrap that, but I did go by Ocotillo Lodge. So this place was just used in the new Lakers show on HBO. Jerry Buss actually owned this back in the day. And now I know they do rent them out and there are also livable places in here too. So I thought I'd show this real quick. If you ever drive down Highway 111, you'll see that uh, Ocotillo Lodge is right next to Caliente Tropics and the Ace Hotel as well. But yeah, no, they just shot some stuff here, but it really doesn't look all that great. Well, here I am at the Outlook up in Palm Springs. But as that one got scrapped, that was kind of like my big thing that I wanted to go through today because there was so many things to line up, but that's all right. Um, I think I'm gonna save a lot of the celebrity houses next time because I have a whole list that I just want to go through and just hit them one by one and kind of show you guys uh, all the old celebrities of the Palm Springs area. Behind me though, you can actually go hiking between those rocks and there's a a waterfall up there I'll do that once it's not 105 degrees like it is today but um, right now I'm trying to figure out what else to do there's a couple other places I could go check out um, let me turn around the camera real quick and I'll show what the valley looks like so this is the valley today it's a little bit cloudy it's quite humid out here there's a visitor center you actually have to be led up by a guide all the way up there take about 10 people at a time. Out in the distance, you can see the windmills. Big hotel out there, Kempton Hotel. Over here, would be the other Palm Springs houses. That would be Palm Springs and Cathedral City, and this is all the new stuff that we're building. So maybe I'll stop by one or two more places and put this video together and then start working on something else. I was heading by the Palm Springs Art Museum and I saw this outside. That would be the Kempton right there. Rowan. I know I've shown the babies before, but this is really cool looking this Malibu. Straight into the water. That kind of sums it up right there. The palm trees and that's the art museum in the back. That's the car alarm going off in the background. They have some other cool stuff that I can show you. I'll walk over there. How deep is that? Looks like it needs to be clean too. So, yes, this is the Swedish babies. I believe they're Swedish. Down here. Oh, and there's Marilyn in the distance. I know I've shown that before. She just got back to Palm Springs, but yeah. Here and then that red line right there is the San Andreas Fault. I'll look to anybody from California. So, that's the fault line right there and it lights up at night as well. Above there, I was just going to show you the O'Donnell House. Those are all hand stacked rocks. And then did have a, another one over there is the O'Donnell Golf Course. I can't really see from here. Oh, there we go. That rock work up there, that was all hand done too. So it had to be stacked. And actually, Mr. O'Donnell wanted to have a tomb up there and be buried up there, but the state would not let him be buried up there. So I'm gonna head over to the Palm Springs Museum and see some of the stuff they have in front. Sure I don't get ran over. That is an airplane wing. Forgot what it goes to. Uh, trying to not make that. There's some of the installations. I'm gonna have to come back and do this place justice one of these times and go through the whole thing. It's a lot of contemporary art. You can get the cicadas. 
What is that? Whoa. Okay. All right, I'm gonna go on the other side and see what they have over there. And on this side of the Palm Springs Museum, you can see more of the driveway. Look at all that hand laid stone. Especially in this heat, whatever job that was, I would not want to be doing that. And then here's the other side of the patio. It's like a dog of some sort in a tire. bridge that looks fun to cross that they don't want you to cross and that is the Dorothy and Harold Meyerman Sculpture Garden yeah I'll have to come back here one of these days where I can spend some time so unfortunately this looks like the end of the line this would have been the driveway up into the O'Donnell house that I've shown you earlier and these are actually kind of neat cactuses oh, that's awesome how they just hang there I am terrified of snakes right now yeah, and I never knew there was a little cemetery right here. So here we are, and this is actually Las Palmas region. And I think this is where I'm gonna end it today. I'm gonna come back and get everything set up and we'll start going through all the celebrities' homes. All right, thanks for watching. And just by chance, where I was earlier up here, I just looked down and look at that. Albert Frey buried right on the corner here. That is really awesome. All the work that this guy did for this valley, amazing. Rest in peace, Albert.